everyone. Today we will be writing equations of arithmetic sequence or arithmetic series. By the way, the word arithmetic, it can also be uh, pronounced as arithmetic. So it doesn't really matter. Arithmetic or arithmetic, they're both the same. Okay, so these are the, uh, the this is the difference between an arithmetic sequence and arithmetic series. First, an arithmetic sequence is a list of terms. So each of these numbers are called terms. In some books, they uh, name this as a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3. Others name this as t of 1, t of 2, t of 3, and so on. But what we're talking about is these are all called terms. So pretty much like this is the first term, this is the second term, third term, fourth term, and so on. So if we say a sequence, it's just a list of numbers. Well, if we say series, it is a sum of numbers. Let's say 7 plus 12 plus 17. So it's there's a plus in between. Okay, in order to find an equation that would work for an arithmetic sequence or an an arithmetic series, we're going to use any of these two equations. So these, both of these equations will give the same, um, the same answer. So A1 here is the first term. So that's the first term right there. Difference is how much does it grow by? So in this case right here, from seven to 12, it's adding five, okay? So that's the difference. So each time it's adding five. So this is our difference, okay? The next one that we have here is uh, uh, n minus one, so that's part of the equation. So that's the first one, or we can use the other equation right here. T of n is equal to the difference. Again, that's the difference. And then dn plus b, the b here is the zeroth term. Zeroth term means this is the first term, t of one. You go backwards one time, so in this case, if it goes by 5, so that means this one right here is a 2. So that means it's a plus 5 right here, and the 2 here is called our zeroth term. So that's the zeroth term, first term, second term. So zeroth term means you go backwards one time from the first term. Okay, let's have an example to see how these formulas work. So let's take the first example. So we are given the um, sequence. So this is sequence right there. We are supposed to find the equation for t of n on this. So I'm going to write the equation over here first. This is the, this is the first one. So that's um, t of n is equal to the first term plus the difference times n minus 1. So let's put in values now. By the way, the second equation that we have here is t of n equals the difference n plus the zeroth term b. So let's, let's work on the first equation right here first. So let's take the first term. So the first term here is 2. So I'm going to write 2 right here plus the difference. So how much does it grow by? So it's adding three each time. So that would be, um, uh, sorry, six. It's, it, it's adding six each time, adding seven each time. So we're adding seven each time here. So it's adding seven every time. So two plus seven is nine, nine plus seven is 16, 16 plus seven is 23. So our difference is seven times n minus one. So the next thing that we're going to do is to distribute the seven inside the two terms, inside the parentheses. So this would come out two plus seven n minus seven. And then we combine like terms. So two minus seven is a negative five. So then our t of n here is 7n minus 5. So this is the equation for the t of n on this sequence. Now let's take the second example right here. So the difference for this is 7. It grows by 7. So I'm going to write 7n and then the b is the zeroth term. So that means we go backwards one time. What is that number before the 
2 since it goes by it goes up by 7 so we subtract 7 on the other side so this would be negative 5 and so i go ahead and say negative 5 is the zeroth term and this is the t of n so as you can see, the other one is pretty straightforward, the second equation. By the way, just to give you a hint on the second equation, this is using the equations that we did before, y equals mx plus b. So you can remember that. So next um, example, let's take the next example right here. So we are given a series here, and we are supposed to find the formula for the nth term, or t of n. So let's... Um, Let's use the first equation right there. So it's gonna be t of n, so I'm gonna write t of n here, is equal to the first term. So the first term is 15, plus the difference to this is negative five, sorry, negative three. So it goes down by negative three. So I would say plus negative three, times n minus 1. So then we can simplify this to be 15 minus 3 times n minus 1. And then we distribute the 3 to each term inside the parentheses. So this would be um, 15 minus 3n plus 3. And then we combine like terms, the 15 and the 3, and that comes out 18. So our t of n, therefore, is negative 3n plus 18. So this is the t of n for this second problem. Now let's take the, uh, let's have the second way of finding for the t of n. So the t of n is equal to the difference that's negative. 3n, so that's the difference, negative 3n, and then the zeroth term. That means we go backwards one time. So what is that number before the 15? So that should have been an 18, because we're supposed to be adding, um, adding 3 if we go backwards. So that would be negative 3n plus 18. So this is the equation that would work for um, the, the other way of finding for the T of N. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!